In this question, we're going to use graphs to determine which of the functions f of x, which is equal to 10x squared, and g of x, which is equal to x cubed divided by 10, is eventually larger, that is, larger when x is very large. So let's go ahead and use Desmos first here. So the first function we can call is 10x squared. And then the next function is x cubed divided by 10. So in order for us to see if this is larger, well, we have to see what's going on to the right. So we can see that what's happening with these graphs. We have to zoom in or expand this to the right a lot further up to see what's happening. So it looks like we might have to go way up to see what's happening with this graph. So let's go ahead and put in our viewing window. So let's start at zero and then we'll go to let's say 1000. Over here is zero, we can go to 100. Okay, so that's not really telling us much. So we might need to go a little higher. So here we might need to go to, let's say, 100,000. Keep this at 200 maybe. So we still can't see what's happening here. So let's make our x-axis go from 0 to 200 and let our y-value go from 0 to let's say 100,000. Well now we're getting closer because now we can see what's happening here. So let's go to 200,000 for the y-max. Okay, so we can see here now that this graph represents g of x and this graph represents f of x. So what is happening? Well, what's happening is, is that g of x, which is equal to x cubed over 10, is larger than f of x, which is equal to 10x squared, whenever x is greater than 100. So that means here, the value of 100, when x is 100, that's when g of x is going to be larger than f of x. And then before that, we would say that f of x was larger than g of x. And so here is our graph showing what's happening at that intersection.